comes to the point now, if you, you know, if you're not gonna play hard, then you don't want to be on the court. Then, you know, you can go sit down. It was the tale of two halves for the Boston Celtics as they faced off against the number one team in the league in the Golden State Warriors in a Friday night showdown. Now the Celtics were down five players because of the NBA health and safety protocols and after a lackluster start, they came out looking like a completely different team in the second half, playing with more urgency. But down the stretch, the Warriors were able to close this one out, finishing with a 111 to 107 victory. First half. You know, 50-50 balls, loose balls, offensive rebounds really hurt us. I think they had nine for 14 points in the first half. And then we really limited that to only two uh, and five second chance points second half. So, you know, love the effort and the fight to get back in. It's tough when you dig yourself that big a hole. Um, I think, you know, a couple, of, a couple of the guys got hot in the first half. And then we cut it to 10. And then, uh, you know, that unfortunate, you know, play at the end of the second quarter where we give them four points. Uh, you know, that was kind of like a gut punch because we had, we had fought back in the last couple of minutes to cut it to 10. We was down 20 something. Take away those. Obviously, we feel like we had some free throws we wish we could have had. You know, it might have been a different ball game. Understanding the negatives that we did that affected us um, and allowed us to get down where we had to come out in the second half and be that. You know, um, it's tough. Obviously, you know, we got guys out. Our guys in, in the lineup that, that we had to put in different different lineup, but we've been doing it all year. So you know, um, if it comes to the point now, if you, you know if you're not gonna play hard, then you don't want to be on the court. Then you know, you go sit down. You know, we can take losing, but we can't take losing when it's when it's all effort. Now, Romeo Langford did have to leave the game after taking a hit to the head, and Ime Odoka said post game the plan for him is that they will monitor him tonight and tomorrow. But that's as far as he's been told regarding Langford's status.